Okay, this is going to be a quick one today, and uh, all we're going to do is create a sticky or static or fixed navigation header uh, in Figma, but that header is also going to sit within a page that has auto layout, which until recently, thanks to the addition of uh, absolute positioning by Figma, was not possible. You had to get around it with uh, an extra frame, which is kind of clunky. But you can see here we have a page that's got set to auto layout, and as we scroll, our navigation is fixed at the top. So, like I said, until recently this was not possible, um, but we do have our page. So you can see my mobile page is uh, an auto layout stack, uh, and that just keeps it nice and simple so that the page will adapt to all the content that I put in it, and I don't have to worry about changing the frame size or, or losing anything because it it's um, I've added too much content. So. Um, I've got my margins and everything set up, I've got my spacing, I've got it set to center. Uh, the reason this hero image is not listening to the margins is because I've set it to fixed and the width of the page, uh, which only works if you have your auto layout set to center. If you switch it to left, you can see it starts to adhere to the, um, to the margin set in auto layout. But for this case, we're going to set it to center. Uh, I'm going to take my mobile uh, navigation component, drop it in, and move it up to the top. So here you can see it's following the auto layout parameters. It's spaced just like everything else. Um, it's not sticky, it's not ideal, but that's all right because we're going to click this and then you're going to go over here to this little plus sign that uh, says absolute position. You're going to hit that and then you're able to come down under constraints and click fixed position when scrolling. Um, and then uh, I'm just going to make sure that it's set to the top and center. Um, and then you can see that it's pushed the rest of our page up behind it, which isn't ideal if you want this area has a bunch of content or whatever. You don't want it to fall under the, the navigation. So you just click your page, so your, your overall stack. Go to independent padding. I'm going to add, I think my navigation is about 90. I'm going to add 90 to the top, and that pushes that back down. And then you can see when you run your prototype that we have our auto layout, our whole page uses auto layout, and we have a sticky header navigation um, that doesn't have to be changed in any way. Uh, you can see everything is nicely inside our auto layout stack, and there we go. Pretty simple, um, but I know it causes some people problems, so hopefully this helped. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out my other channel, uh, Muttering Pines, where I do offline stuff with my friends. Thanks for watching.